Welcome to Grad Life Grind and welcome to this series on personal statements. My name is Arielle, I'm a PhD student in clinical psychology and I know exactly how you feel about your personal statement. I've been there, it's stressful and it's overwhelming and that's why I'm sharing my tips for how to write a good statement. In this video I want to talk about some of the things that you want to think about in order to make your narrative flow nicely for your personal statement. The reason why you want it to flow nicely is because you should think of your personal statement as a story. You don't want to just list off things about yourself or have choppy experiences about you in each paragraph. You want it to kind of come together really nicely by the end so that it really wraps a bow around the reader's impression of you. So some of the things that you can think about before you even start writing are what are some of the threads that I want to run through this? What are some of the values that I want to make sure I'm conveying throughout this statement? So if something that's really important to you in your life is activism, then maybe you want to make sure that in every paragraph you're kind of touching on that a little bit. And you don't have to be too harsh with these threads. You just have to think about what things do I want to make sure are kind of interwoven throughout my statement because you don't want to have something that you mentioned at the beginning that you kind of open your essay with that you don't come back to in the end. So if you open your statement with a story about this time when you were six and how something terrible happened to you but then you learned something from it, you want to come back to that six-year-old version of you at the end of the statement. Because as a reader, I'm thinking about what drew me into reading this paper. Whatever got me hooked at the beginning, in the first paragraph, I want to hear more about that at the end. If you started a story, you want to make sure that you finish it. So thinking about what things you want to make sure are covered throughout. And even if you've already started writing your essay and you're not thinking about the threads or the narrative flow before you started writing, that's fine. You can read through your essay once you're editing and think about, does this flow nicely? Am I touching on things throughout and not just in one or two places? And maybe not everything is something that you want to come back to. There are some things that only deserve a sentence or two, and that's fine. But some of the big ideas that you want to convey are things that definitely need to run through the entire paper. So think about that when you're writing or editing your personal statement. And if you want more tips, then you can move on in this series. And if you're completely confused about what a personal statement is, why it's important, and what you can do to get started, you should go back and watch the first few videos in this series because all of it is laid out for you. I hope that you'll continue watching more of my videos and also subscribe to my channel for more information about grad school, what it's like applying to grad school, and my own experience working in the mental health field. Thanks.